Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to ETS2 Season 2. We are in the middle of the road here in Norway. We uh, crossed over from Iceland in the previous episode, and we are ready to resume. But I do have a couple of updates before we start. We're still poor. <laughs> 500 euros. <laughs> so we really have to finish this. But first, let me show you a bit of update. Might see something new. Flat UI, I finally managed to enable it. Thanks a lot to Hasib for constantly reminding me to try it out. You can see the icons are different. More of that flat look, more modern design by Sizzle. So as always, all of these mods are in the mods list. Link in the video description. Next new thing is in the world map. <clears throat> this is done by official Dowl. It's the high quality extended map background for pro mods. So even when we zoom in the background, the uh, contours of the map are still high quality. Quite nice. I like it. What I'm not sure if I like is those are those uh, icons, the green and orange circles, which indicate if it's an unexplored or explored city, as you can see in the legend here. Um, yeah, not too keen on that yet, but maybe it will grow on me. It is very easy to spot, which one I haven't discovered yet. And looks like we will be discovering Dramen as we pass through. 400 kilometers to go, so might as well get to it, right? I do have one more mod to show, but I think it's better to show that on the road. Anyway, let's go and hear this thing. OM470 sounds from Max still. There we go. The giraffe is saying hi. <laughs> and yes, the rusty parts are still a thing. Alright, let me see if I can still remember how to drive. Lights are on. Looking good. Okay, let's get going. No one there? Alright, off we go. This is the correct direction. I also was looking at my mods list in this profile and I recognized I was actually missing a couple of items. Not really critical, but it might help anyway. In particular, I remembered or I noticed that I actually didn't have the Europe reskin mod by Murphy in this profile, so I added it. I'm not sure if it will help any. With Norway, we do have a couple of outdated textures in Norway, but from what I remember, I don't think that Norway is touched by Mirfi in his mod. But you let me know if you notice any difference in case. I don't think so, but uh, yeah, just to future proof it. I also added the AI Iberia fix by Pro Mods. And that will only affect Iberia areas, so not really relevant for us at the moment. Whew, it's getting too fast. Don't have retarder in this truck. Okay, engine brake is the key then. Very bendy road. Have to be very careful here. As I mentioned, we cannot afford any accident. Only 500 euros left in the bank. No hassles with the AI please we have to really drive defensively and we really have to take care but that's all good I think we can do it hope I didn't just jinx it <laughs> but regardless we are getting some awesome views because we are in Norway and we'll be crossing over to crossing over to Sweden soon enough you saw how abruptly I, I break there <laughs> because I don't want to to break the 30 speed limit. I think this is the first time ever that I actually follow that speed limit in a road work. Usually I would just buzz through it and I would just ignore it. But this time, we cannot afford to play with uh, our luck. Have to really risk it. Or not risk it rather. Ooh, thumbnail shot. It's always going to be a bridge shot like so. Perfect. I'll take care of that later. Oh, and uh, thanks a lot for all the comments and likes and uh, 
feedback on the previous episode. I'm glad to see that you guys are enjoying Norway as well, despite the older textures than the newer DLCs. Still great, isn't it? In line with that, I would like to get your uh, feedback, guys, your inputs. Because I will probably fly in Norway soon in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Someone released a Norway high-quality elevation data. That means the mountains should look more realistic. If you compare them with photos in real life, then they should actually look exactly the same. That's how detailed they are. As an example, a couple of days ago, we streamed Microsoft Flight Simulator. I was flying a helicopter. We were flying over Switzerland. And we were trying to recreate me and my, my trip and uh, my and Mrs. Clumsy's trip in Switzerland a couple of years back. So I had a couple of real-life photos of the mountains. And we did a side-by-side -side comparison of some of them. Ooh, train. Very nice scenery. We did a side-by-side -side comparison for some of them. Uh, comparing how the sim looks and how the real life photo looks oh my goodness I got goosebumps literally got goosebumps as I put them side by side and uh, they are practically identical each and every curve of the mountain was exactly the same like you can spot you can say oh this mountain is that one and this is that one the only difference was in the the colors because um, Probably the satellite imagery from the sim was taken in a different season. So sometimes there was snow. Sometimes it was a bit of a different color. Because we went in autumn in real life. And uh, maybe the satellite image was from a different season. But yeah, they are all... Do I have my lights on? Yes, I do. They were one is to one when it comes to the shape. And uh, with Norway, as we can see, so many possible opportunities for for mountain uh, mountainous areas, right? So if I were to ask you, especially our Norway locals, or if you've been here, or if you just know a lot about Norway, let me know in the comments. Ooh, that's another train. Very nice. Oh, that's the modem I'm talking about. Yeah, it's the, uh, what do you call it? Modified Barriers mod by WD Barnes too. Thanks a lot to Orsa for recommending that to me. <clears throat> so it changes the barriers, you know, the no entry signs instead of the floating X signs and the uh, the exit closed signs. You know, instead of those floating signs, we get still floating signs, but they look a bit more realistic, like no entry floating signs and. Uh, it's, it's very similar to how real signs would look like, except they are not, uh, they don't have the, the poles, the stands, you know. So they're still kind of floating, but they look much more realistic. This one, case in point, this one. Yeah, it's, a, it's still floating, but it looks a lot more real than just having those floating X's, right? Just something to help improve the immersion a bit. I don't want to remove them completely because I'd, I'd go into them <laughs> and that's going to be very dangerous so I'll, I'll I keep them there I keep them there but yeah not too shabby I like it yeah just like it looks just like that right but without the, the stand so not bad at all <clears throat> I can live with that better so that one is the Modified Barriers by WD Barnes 2, recommended by Orsa. Oh, one second, what is this? Why is there a speed limit? A radar? Speed radar? Okay, 80 kilometers, no problem. <laughs> I got scared for a minute. Because <laughs> usually those, uh, those speed uh, radar thingies, they appear when there's a speed limit change, right? When you're entering a city or whatnot. So I was scared that I didn't see a sign. Ooh, train station. Uh, train uh, tunnel. <laughs> you get my point. Also, it's starting to get dark, but really slow. If you look at the time, it's actually almost 10 p.m. And still, we have the sun only about to start setting. Okay, let's slow it down here. Slow it down more. 
Yeah, those no entry signs look much better, especially from afar. They don't stand out as much anymore. It's the, you see them more, you see them better, but they don't really look off. They don't look fake. Man, I love these small bridges. <clears throat> Are we still in Norway? Yes, I think so. One of the reminders I have that we are still in Norway are the road markings. I think they're very fond of these yellow uh, road markings in the middle. I think when we move, when we cross over to Sweden, that will change. And of course, the signage is different as well. <clears throat> but we'll uh, try and notice that. We'll try and spot that on our own later. And sorry for the slower driving than usual. I'm really trying to keep it safe. But that's okay. That means we have more time driving. And we'll try to finish this episode today. So it might be a longer episode than usual. Which some of you might like. Some of you might not. Tough luck. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll make it as entertaining as possible. Hopefully. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already. But uh, yeah, I think I mentioned it in the beginning of the video. The flat UI. The uh, interface from Sizzle. That was recommended by Hasib. He was reminding me all throughout to enable it. I finally got a chance to clean up my profile and uh, double check the missing items. The lighting here in the tunnel is so good. But I think it's only really good when it's nighttime. When it's daytime, we don't see the light so much. But yeah, here it's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. I like this. Looks so real. Actually, see our headlights as well better now. Cop ahead. <clears throat> Let's make sure we're following the rules. Don't hit any of the signs, please. Thank you. Man, that is beautiful. Okay. And the map background was done by Official Dowl and it was recommended by Scan from the Pro Mods team. I'm not sure if Official Dowl is part of the Pro Mods team as well. I don't think so, but you can feel free to correct me there. See, this is like a, a third party to a third party. <laughs> Which is cool. That's how the community works. Building, doing contributions on top of one another. And it all contributes to the even better looks and immersion for the sim as a whole. Okay, this one is the city that we are passing through. Hope we discover it as well. There we go, Dramen discovered. Looks like a very nice uh, port town. And finally, it's starting to get dark. Now, in terms of ETA, oh, so it, even the flat UI affects this overlay here. Nice. So we have 46 hours remaining because of my improved uh, increased delivery times mod. I think that's by Dark Captain if I remember correctly. 80 kilometers here, okay. Okay, are we in Sweden now? So those signs look different and yeah, we don't have the yellow markings in the middle anymore. I think we crossed over to Sweden. Yeah, we, it, it, the, the proof will be the chevrons here will be blue and yellow. That's my main um, reminder that I've crossed over to Sweden. Is that blue? It looks black instead of blue, but uh, probably just the lighting, huh? Oh my goodness. I'm sure you guys will correct me if I got it wrong. Ooh. Engine struggled hard there. All of that sign still looks like the same one we saw in Norway. Maybe that did really, really doesn't change that much. You know what? Maybe we can confirm it one second. If we zoom out here, do we have... Oh, we don't see that large enough. I have no idea. Well, I think it's time to sleep. That's what I get. Oh yeah, I think we're still in Norway. My bad. Maybe we crossed a bit? Norway, Sweden, then in Norway again. We'll see. 
It's nice though, getting some night lighting for a change, isn't it? Very different vibe. Actually quite relaxing as well. And those signs, not bad. The no entry signs. <clears throat> not too shabby. But yeah, I really like this lighting in the tunnel. Anyway, I got way off track with what I was hoping to get from you guys as well. If you know of <clears throat> some scenic sites here in Norway, well, everything is scenic, but uh, the, the, the most iconic sites, you know, for mountains, for uh, terrain, for sceneries, let me know in the comments. If you know of specific IKEA codes of the airports as well, specific airports that would have the best view, then that's even better. But if you know only of the name of the mountain or the mountain range, let me know, that's okay. I can Google it and I can determine the flight plan from there. But I would love to fly the Bell 47 helicopter here in Norway and explore more of its mountains. And I'm sure the Norwegians in the channel would love that too and fans of Norway and by the looks of it there are a lot of fans in Norway because how can you not be yeah, it's still one of my one of the things in my list of things I want to do I want to go to Norway in real life maybe when things settle down again when we can travel again and uh, me and Mrs. Clumsy going to Norway renting a car just driving around I should know a bit about European science now, right? After defensive driving like this, I should be able to maybe drive somewhat in these roads. Oh no, another toll gate. We can't spend any more. Stop. <laughs> I think we just need to start thinking about passing through toll free roads to save up on money. No, but. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, that's still one of my hopes in real life. Going here and driving and just exploring. So every, anywhere you go, we get shown these beautiful landscapes. The roads are all over. Yeah. Ah, okay. So it looks like the signs are different because they lead to different things. Is that how you read it? If it's going to the 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 what do you call this the highway, the the, mo the motorway or whatever the local equivalent is, then maybe it's blue. I don't know. There's 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 there should be a pattern there, but I just haven't figured it out. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments, right? <clears throat> it's going to be a teaching episode. You teaching me more than the other way around. <laughs> All right, let's continue here. I hope we are headed the right way. Just double check. Yeah, 149 kilometers to go. We are doing some progress at least. More than halfway there. In terms of time, oh yes, we can we can do this. Believe, and I think we can rest. Whoa, that actually was a bit hypnotic as we approached that tunnel. It felt like one of those scenes in the movies where the field of view of the camera changes. Like zooming in, changing the field of view, going from wide to narrow, and narrow to wide. Felt hypnotic. <laughs> I almost got disoriented. Okay, so we can cross the toll gate here. And then we can... Uh, yeah, we can sleep here. Wait a minute, one sec. The auto pass is on the left side, but I want to stay on the right because I want to sleep. I think if I stay on the left side, it might be awkward to stay in, to go into the rest area. Another toll gate, you guys are ruthless. Okay, let's sleep here. Um, it's occupied. Is there no other space? I think there's something in front of this guy. Maybe we can squeeze in. They kind of hog the area though. No, there it is. Okay. I was ready to push him off just to get some sleeping area. A rest area of my own. Hmm. 
By the way, you guys excited for the convoy? Surely am. Convoy is coming. We're having a convoy on the 28th of May. On the usual streaming time. It's unfortunately not friendly for European folks. It's going to be 2 a.m. Central Europe time. So not very friendly. Oi. Why is it not allowing me to sleep? Oh, there's the border. It was only now that I'm crossing. Uh, maybe I should reverse more. So I'm too scared to reverse and hit that guy, but it should come up soon. Come on. No? Looks like we won't be allowed to sleep in here for some reason. Should I go closer? Will it be a night driving thing? One last try and then we'll... Well... Uh, we'll do something. <laughs> I'll think of something. go okay wow that's a bit tricky okay good 12 44 in the morning ah even the truck likes it big burp <laughs> i know a lot of you guys have been asking about those sounds it's not the best sound but it is realistic that's really how the new acro sounds like when it changes gears like a, a burping sound, a truck burp. <laughs> okay, make sure don't hit that guy. Thank you. Off we go. Beautiful morning, a bit cloudy. Maybe it'll rain later, but for now we enjoy the weather. Looking good and crossing over soon. So yeah, even though we're still in Norway, we do get that white signage in the middle, so it's not really a fixed deal that it's always yellow, huh? And I guess that's only true with the, the mountains, with the mountainous areas maybe, where it's a bit more strict with the overtaking rules. I would imagine that's the case. So this bridge is the border, and it looks like this will be the screenshot, the thumbnail. Looking good. There we go. Welcome to Sweden, guys. Cool. Did it say it there you needed to have your low beams on the entire time? Did that sign say that? Okay, let's have a look at the AI. That's the best way to know. Okay, yeah. Oh crap, really? Okay, I blame that guy. 70 man. Right, we still have a couple of things. Thank goodness the penalty was low. Dang it, Sweden, huh? They are very strict on the rules, it seems. How much money do we have left? 300. <laughs> From 500, now we have 300. Oh, please, no more penalties. But yeah, it looks like we have to have our low beams on the entire time. Which is okay with me. I know we have a couple of folks here from Sweden. Say hello. Say hi in the comments. I get to chat with you guys a lot. Some even join the stream even if it's an inconvenient time. Uh, speaking of inconvenient times, yes, the convoy 28th of May, 2 a.m. CET, 8 p.m. Eastern Time in the U.S. Not very convenient for some folks, unfortunately, but that's the best I can offer for now. I'll share more details as we get closer, but we do have a starting point already. We're starting in Coronia, in Iberia, 
and we have even a, a color scheme you know a paint job that is recommended so that we all have the same colors as we are driving as we are doing the convoy makes it look a bit more professional now all of this is with the assumption that uh, we don't get the what do you call it oh beautiful bridge oh my goodness um, all of this convoy planning is with the assumption that we don't get this official convoy from SCS anytime soon. If we do, then we will change plans. We will change to trying out that new convoy feature regardless. So that takes priority. Okay, This will be the photo, I think. <clears throat> awesome. Well, let's just think of it as the, the penalty that we got for speeding. 100 plus euros, let's just say that's the toll fee for entering Sweden. It's like, welcome to Sweden. <laughs> hey, I, I remember the IKEA. Uh, the he is H-E-J, uh, right? <laughs> oh, I'm craving for some meatballs. I haven't seen any Kia yet, surprisingly enough. Oh, we'll see. We'll pass one sooner or later, I'm sure. The signage does look very different now, doesn't it? And yes, no more yellow anywhere. In Norway, it was either yellow in the middle or yellow in the left side there of the road. Here, it's all white. Look, we're exiting here. Oh yeah, this is one of the the limitations in driving it's in these areas it's pretty old prefab this one uh, that's the one I'm expecting blue and yellow chevrons and even the size is different now I notice it's much more it's not just like a single chevron it's like four of them very skimpy junction okay let's take up the entire thing because I do need some space here there we go almost there guys almost there if we manage to do this we won't be broke anymore afterwards we're debt free but for now we're broke but we're not debt free we're debt free so at least it's not negative our balance once we finish this job, we'll have thousands and we can go bump, nudge AI cars again. <laughs> we'll have a bit more freedom. I can drive faster again and can afford a few tickets here and there. But no, that's not the, the goal. The goal is to still continue building our empire, right? And maybe upgrade our truck from this used MP4 to something a bit newer, a bit more sturdy. We'll see. See how what what is needed from that point of view. <clears throat> so yes, looking forward to your comments, guys. Let me know where it's going to be great to fly through, fly over in Norway. If you know some uh, mountainous ranges in Norway that are famous, uh, probably not the, the the like unique buildings. Wrongway offense? I barely touched the other side. Now that's just extortion, goodness. <laughs> Did we suddenly get to the UK or something? Even that police car moved to the left. Now that's just cheating. Okay, looks like the game is bent on really making me go negative even before we deliver this okay stay to the right stay to the right otherwise it will devise of more ways on making us pay for overdraft kind of thing also i remember you guys told me there's actually a thing as if you go negative enough you can go up 
I don't think you ever get game over based on the feedback, even if you go like negative fifty thousand on the money. But uh, if you stay negative enough, the bank can actually confiscate your trucks, so you go back doing quick jobs again. You lose your own truck, which is something that I won't want to get into. So we only have 250 euros left. Let's make the most of it. There's the parking. Best way would be to turn left here and reverse into that space. Let's lower the windows. And see how we manage this. Come on, show me the parking. There it is. I see a sliver of it on the left side. There it is on that side. Okay. Oh my goodness, that, that doesn't sound good at all. Do we have any damage? 5%. I wonder if that contributes to that scary sound. Or is that a normal sound? Okay, that looks good. Over on this side, we're not in any risk of hitting this guy. What's that guy doing anyway, right? Like he's waiting for people to make a mistake. On this side, are we close to that railing? I think we kind of are. But if we turn here a bit sharper, we should maybe get free of that. Thankfully, I think nud nudging fences are free. So we don't really get a penalty there. We just get a bit of damage on the truck or trailer. And on the ego. <laughs> but... As long as there's no actual financial penalty, I'll take that. But uh, even better is if we don't don't get any penalty at all. Okay, we can reverse here. True mirror FOV for those who are asking about the mirrors, why they look so much more realistic. They don't have that wide angle, so it helps you reverse better. Although on that side, I notice I don't see anything. Huh? That might be a bit distorted. You know what? Let me let me try and fix that a bit. Oh yeah, even here the interface looks good. Way to do a cliffhanger, huh? Oh that one. Okay, it should be that one so we see something. Quite interesting. Okay. Might have gotten too narrow there. Yeah, that looks like a perfect parking. Just waiting for the ding. There we go. You guys ready? Guys ready to earn some money? I surely am. Let's do this. Show me the money. Come on. Excellent. Oh, this is also changed by the interface. 10k! Yes! <laughs> XP? Oh, we didn't level up, but almost there. Okay, even this one, it looks good. Cool. So how much do we have now? 10,000. Rich! Save that before it gets taken away again. All right, so here we are. We have that discovered. Where do you guys want to go? I want to go specifically here, northbound. So I'll probably look, look a job somewhere here. Maybe we can pass through Oslo again. Maybe we can start in Dramen or here in Gothenburg. Let's see if we can find somewhere which goes to Trondheim. I do want to go north in north, all the way to Honigsvag and pass through here. That's the plan initially. But if you have more recommendations, let me know, okay? Anyway, looking forward to your recommendations as well on the mountainous areas and whatnot. The natural wonders in Norway. Let me know in the comments. Not the specific buildings, because probably the buildings aren't built in the simulator yet, in Flight Simulator. But the mountains surely are. Anyway, thanks for watching. Clumsy Trucking guys, Giraffe is happy. Job well done. We should give this guy a name. Something that starts with G. Gary the Giraffe. Hmm. Gary sounds good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day in Clumsy Trucking. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.